Welcome to Cap Show. We're talking about wealth management, especially about ESG strategies and wealth management. I'm joined here by Ruben Feldman, Deputy Head of ESG Strategy at Zürcher Kantonalbank. Welcome, Ruben. Thanks. It's great to be here. What about ESG strategies at Zürcher Kantonalbank? Can you elaborate a little bit on that? Well, most of our products have uh, some integration in terms of sustainability. So ESG is just one part of it. We have also climate, uh, sustainable purpose, and also we look at controversies. Um, but generally, all of our active assets have uh, quite a, a decent amount of, of sustainability considerations in them. And then we have product lines, which are called sustainable, which uh, really focus on, uh, let's say, sustainable investments as as the source of risk-adjusted return. What are the challenges when it comes to the market and the regulation around ESG, around sustainable investments? Um, the challenges are often with respect to the well, understanding of the market, so markets understanding what we're doing, um, whether other asset managers are doing something similar but actually totally different. Uh, so there's a lot of misconceptions and the regulation actually helps to try to create a level playing field in terms of transparency. Uh, so transparency is key, which is why we're also doing a lot of work on the reporting and trying to create a lot of information that is available for, for people to view and understand what we're doing. Um, and this regulation, of course, while it adds transparency and a level playing field, also creates a lot of work. And sometimes uh, if we take SFDR, for example, it's been created a little bit uh, separate from the market. And so when it lands on the market, there's a lot of information that we're needed, needing to provide information on that we don't have. Or if we have, it's unclear uh, how we're supposed to use it. Uh, so it, it's very challenging. And there are also many, many different regulations that are coming in and that are just piling up. And uh, as long as they're aligned, uh, that's great because actually it creates more transparency uh, but when they start to be misaligned, this is where it starts to have a problem. So we're, we're engaging with, with the regulators to try and make new regulation align with existing ones. We're in the middle of a transition phase when it comes to the whole economy, the business itself. And also in, the investors have to focus on this transition phase. How do you approach this phase? Is it more the engagement which you focus or is it more the exclusion, the, the traditional way of doing sustainable investing? Yeah, so we have multiple facets of sustainability, as I mentioned. Uh, so, for example, a, a very big one is climate. So um, on all of our active assets and even on some passive assets, we have a climate focus where uh, on the active side, we have a, a Paris alignment, which means that for most of our responsible funds, um, the products are aligned to be in line with a Paris under two degree uh, trajectory. And similarly, our sustainable funds and, and mandates are supposed to be aligned with the 1.5 degree uh, aligned trajectory of the Paris Agreement. Now, this is, of course, a transition from now until 2050, uh, which is a 30 year time frame. And for us, it's important to, to see how these companies are going to transition. And we've actually made commitments back in 2020 from then for the next 30 years. And so there is these commitments and the fact that uh, when we invest in a stock or a long-term term bond, we look at expectations of what this company or even a, a state might do in the next 10, 20, 30 years. And when there is, a, there is no, uh, let's say, strategy to align with what the future will look like, which we assume will be a net zero economy by 2050, then that company or that state has uh, is going to present significant problems with respect to the, its in, in issued securities. And so either this company or state has a plan to transition or uh, we obviously cannot stay invested. And so when it comes to having the plan, whether the company has it itself or we engage with the company, which we do a lot, uh, then we we are obviously trying to work with the issuers to try and, and get them aligned. And there are organizations out there like science-based targets initiatives, which provide frameworks per sectors uh, specific to each company, which can help them align with what the future will look like, uh, hopefully for all our sakes. It's very interesting. You mentioned the transparency issue. You, you mentioned also the reporting. But how can investors really get the information they want um, on, on your strategy? Yeah, so of course, there are many different sources. Probably the best is our website at 
www.sales.ch um, or feel free to contact any of our salespeople, uh, which are generally at most events in Switzerland for asset management. Thank you very much, Ruben. Thank you very much for having giving us these insights. Thanks very much. Thank you very much for listening. This was Capsule, where we talk about wealth management. Stay tuned.